that was classic Andrew Wiltsey, the back take, the arm trap. Let's talk about that, actually. And we are underway in this 185 pound middleweight match. Let's go. So I, I really thought that I was gonna get the first couple takedowns because I, I put him all the way down on his back. I have been working a lot of my wrestling. I do think my wrestling is pretty crisp, especially against jiu-jitsu guys that, like I train a lot to take advantage of the openings. Uh, he gave me a lot of entries. But Gabriel Almeida, excellent defense there in grabbing that yeah, neck. Yeah. I mean, he got an early shot on me. I was able to defend it. I got pretty pissed because I, I could have finished in that. Yeah, like usually Pinky fucking pulled my head back in and he got back up and I was like, I have to bail on this or he's good, he's really good. So I, like if he gets a full choke in, I'm probably in trouble. You know, I think that Andrew definitely has to be cautious, you know, he, he's- Whoa, oh, huge yeah. jumping <laughs> pass attempt there. Man, I'll beat him pulling the trigger there. I, I was talking a lot of joke, like joking a lot, like, oh, I'll never pull guard again. That's obviously not true. If Andrew pulls guard again, I'm gonna bulldoze this box. And we will show up with a bulldozer and then Shaq will be no more. It's not Shaq, it's a box. He calls it a box. It's... I didn't pull guard. I strategically evaded the darts. <laughs> so you can't bulldoze the box. We want to see the top guy as well. Really, the onus in, in, in Nogi, especially, you know, when you when you come into a match like this, you got to be the one to try and pass. You've got to try and initiate. If you just stay a, a distance, well, you're not doing anything. And, it, and like, you know, if he spends too long there, we could potentially see him get called for stalling. There was Andrew. And beats him forward. Most Stop! Of possible. Oh, OK. Okay, so this is our first official warning. Yeah. Gabriel Martins has but, said... I agree, they gotta get to work. He's gonna start giving penalties if they don't start working. And now you can immediately see the dynamic has changed. Immediately, okay, there is a fire has been lit under them. And this is very different jujitsu. Yeah, great, great move by a referee because the game has certainly opened up. I mean, I was pretty much dictating the pace of the rest of the match. You know, while I was on top. Me bar, bar attempt, me bar attempt from Almeida. This might be okay. That's a good, that looks this good. This is a good me bar attempt. But Here's an opportunity for Andrew to come on top and maybe out of this as well. We fought before like twice in, in one day. We both got a lot better than we were. But he, he was always tough. This is Andrew's opportunity. Get on top yeah. off of this. Pass the guard here, Andrew. We've got five minutes thirty. Keep it on him. Keep it on. If things keep going in this direction, Almeida could take the win here. Almeida just doesn't give up. And there's another beautiful. Oh, he finishes this takedown single. now. Oh, into the knee slice. Knee slice. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my God. Yeah, so I, I think I had knee sliced him, didn't I? The good old fucking knee slice. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> and then uh, when he finally went on his back, I was like, yeah. I just wanted him to pull so bad. That was an incredible sequence. He's got a lot of time to work. Once I got side control, he was he might be the only person who's ever been more tired than me in a match with me. So I was like, I was feeling it. I was like, yes. <laughs> I think when you get like that far in the match, when you push too much, it just gets hard to to recover. And he's got a great position with that arm isolated. He's talking to Spaggy right now. What can he do from this position <laughs> is the key because of course a takedown is big, side control is big, but what you do with it matters. Will he go for a submission from here? Oh, he's in the mouth. Oh, trying to get away a little bit though, so that's when he was like, he was like bridging his hips off the ground with both feet, so I know he can't catch me in half guard anymore if I step over. I can cleanly step over, get mount, and then he has to get away. Like the, the time's too low for him to take his time and do a technical escape. He has to bridge or he has to turn, and I kind of encourage him to turn onto his stomach. I got the back chase. What a, both looks are in. What a come from behind rally by Wiltsy here in the last four minutes of the match. This is incredible. Oh, he's, he's, he's isolated the, the arms. The arm. He's isolated he's the, the arms. It's tough to see, but he, that arm is trying to work under the chin. He's got going the thumb going. One arm rear naked choke. The arm is finding its way Panda under the chin. Can Panda he Express. Get the here? here we come. Panda Express, baby. Yeah. He's going wild in the corner. Oh, great performance by Gabriel Mayba. Great come from behind victory by Andrew Wilson. That was a swing of momentum. Great match. Yeah. He Crap, really man. poured it on in the last few minutes. Huh? That was classic Andrew Wiltsey. The back take, the arm trap, the one arm rear naked choke into the finish. It's 3 0 on the Who's Number One stage. How does it feel? That sounds a lot better than 2 and 1. <laughs> and your winner from the red corner. To Andrew, I want to thank you for the match. Congratulate him and hope he gets his sponsorship with Panda. 3 0 sounds like the magical number for Panda Express to finally sponsor me. 
Did you hear what they were yelling? They, they were like, panda, panda. <laughs>